and advanced python core and advanced python here this course duration this course duration is sir 30 classes 30 classes within 30 classes we are going to finish this and excluding demos so this week completely demo will be there our regular classes will be there from monday our regular classes will be there from monday that is uh, 16th onwards okay so from the 16th the regular classes will be there the people who are very interested to continue you can immediately join okay so these four classes monday to thursday demo classes will be there okay sir next the fees for this batch before that i need to compulsory mention timings already this batch got started at three o'clock sir just for add-on purpose i have taken the class at three o'clock but actual timings are from so 3 p.m to sir 4 30 p.m okay actual timings of this class is from 3 p.m to 4 30 p.m monday to saturday monday to saturday so i can say monday to friday saturdays we will take but occasionally suppose uh, around two or three saturdays i will take okay remaining two saturdays i will uh, uh relieve you. okay so monday to friday or monday to saturday we have the regular classes from 3 p.m to 4 30 p.m okay 3 p.m to 4 30 p.m we have classes and what is the fees for this batch the fees for this batch is rupees 5000 okay rupees 5000 is nothing but fees what we have the people who are interested to continue okay the people who are interested to continue so immediately you can start making the payments and you can get registered for this batch okay and next and after that sir if i want to register for this so to whom we need to contact okay to whom we need to contact so here seven two zero seven two one two four two seven you can contact to this number or you can send a message to durga soft online training okay durga soft online training at gmail.com okay next how many demos we are going to take four demos will be there okay four demos will be there that is 9 1 2023 so 10 1 2023 11 1 2023 and uh, so 12 1 2023 okay if possible we will take uh, regular classes from 13th anyway 14th and 15th are festival right we are going to get holiday okay next sir uh, this is nothing but information and uh, so till now i have taken almost five fast track batches this is nothing but a fast track batch sixty sixth so python fast track sixth batch okay so this is nothing but what we have and i need to talk about the syllabus i need to talk about the syllabus so uh, we have around uh, some 20 chapters are there sir okay we have around 20 chapters are there all these chapters 20 to 25 chapters are there all these chapters in detail okay in detail we are going to discuss all these chapters in detail we are going to discuss so just this is nothing but the overview introduction to python okay then python fundamentals data types which are existed in python input and output statements which are available in python operators control flow statements up to this you can expect only fundamentals up to this you can expect only fundamentals so after this so we are going to talk about the data structure fundamentals explain how you can able to prepare the program for that what basics are required everything and five data structures are there so luckily in python our data types also will act as a data structures data structures means what so inserting the data retrieving the data okay performing some operations like searching and sorting so what are the efficient tools we have all these things will be available here also so inbuilt data structures are there around five data structures we have okay so string data structure list data structure tuple data structure set data structure 
dictionary data structure like this we have then so we are going to talk about uh, next level concepts functional programming in python so till now chapter number 1 to chapter number level we are going to talk about the scripting scripting means what just to, we will write some sequence of execution the sequence of instructions and we will execute that that's all but in the functional programming we are going to create a function that the function we are going to execute any number of times based on our requirement okay suppose i want to calculate factorial repeatedly in my project so if you want to uh, write a program every time it is a very difficult task create a module or create a package place that factorial function in that module or package whenever you required just create a link and access okay this kind of a facility is very very important right so that is called as a functional programming okay so you can use modules or packages something like that and we are going to see a small mini project okay we are going to see a small mini project on this also we are going to see a small mini project on this functional programming a small program i will explain then next main agenda object oriented programming like how you can able to provide security is the main agenda of object oriented programming like um, how you can able to create okay how you can able to create classes concept how you can able to create object so if you have already existing classes are there how you can able to extend the properties polymorphism means what overloading means what overriding means what all these things how we are going to work we are going to discuss in detail okay that is called as this oops concept sir anyway around 50 subtopics are there in this object oriented programming in detail we will talk then exception handling suppose if you are executing any program during execution of the program if any runtime error occurred then how we are going to handle that situation that we are going to discuss in exception handling okay if any runtime error is occurred then how we are going to handle that so we are going to discuss in this next what is mean by multi-threading so multitasking is very very important nowadays right parallelly we are going to execute okay so many tasks we are going to execute parallelly but how you can able to do that we are going to talk in detail in this multi-threading okay that then regular expressions how you can able to write regular expressions regular expression means what suppose if you have um, a formality like we are going to read some data from the user and i need to search for the data in the database in such cases some some what you can call some problems are there for example if i am asking tell me your mobile number what you are going to tell for example if you give 123 as your mobile number is it a correct mobile number no but my application is going to accept that and it will store it in the database it is not correct whether the data is the data which is given by the user is following that particular proper format or not even you have seen when you are setting the password nowadays minimum three characters should be there so one uppercase character one lowercase character one digit like that we have certain rules and regulations are there like we are not touching the data but we are checking whether the data is in a proper format or not for that we have to go with what sir regular expression we have so many applications are there around 10 applications we are going to discuss in detail in this regular expressions next web scrapping means what okay so web scrapping means what how you can able to extract the data from websites of course it is not that much important but uh, we will see some one or two websites from that how you can able to extract the email ids how you can able to extract mobile number with live we will see okay so on these regular expressions exception hand sorry on these regular expressions and web scrapping we will see one project also mini project then this is optional but anyway which is very very important at the end sir whatever you have written sir i have written a beautiful program for student attendance management system 
sir i have accepted student hall ticket number so attendance report for the seven periods in day so every data i accept you have to store that data in the database or not yes because tomorrow attendance today attendance next day attendance we have to calculate to get the final percentage monthly or yearly okay so for that data must be stored somewhere right whether it may be in your pc or server or any cloud that is secondary but whatever data you are accepting whatever processing that you are doing you should store that data okay for that we have two phases are there one is you can store the information on file second one is you can store the information on database okay so we are going to see how we are going to deal with the files and uh, database connectivity also we are going to discuss with this a just a small project we are going to see so this is nothing but 25 chapters in detail we are going to discuss in our python course of course it is 20 chapters only only projects are there after completion of every chapter okay so do you have any doubts in this uh, uh, course information please confirm yes hello sir i have one yes. concern mm, please so in 30 days we are able to understand full python as you said yes that. yes yes you can able to understand because uh, if we are i'm not uh, from programming background so it is uh, able yeah. to understand no no yeah no problem you can able to understand because python is very easy sir when compared with other languages i think you have heard that okay, okay. Uh, python is not that much difficult programming language so you can learn python in a very easy manner instructions everything will be very clear and easy so not that much difficulty will be there so after this we are able to apply for a real time uh, in a real company after that yeah yeah you can apply sir but whatever fundamentals are required everything we are going to provide from here okay thank you right sir any other queries friends please feel free to ask your queries hello, hello. Mm, yes hi sir yeah hi Gavid. sir uh, any real, real time project provide no 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 we are not going to deal with any real time projects see real time projects it is <laughs> not that much correct word sir okay. real time project means and, uh, we have to work on the company with a big project team size and so many things will be there so at learning stage that is not correct okay, okay. the external apis uh, django basics no 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 we are not going to cover all these things later after completion of the python you have to opt a separate course for that okay Thank you. Right. Mm. Any other? Any other doubts? Yeah. Hi, sir. Hi. Sir, this Python will be helpful for data science. Sir, data science main agenda is Python only. Okay. okay so without python basics even you can't uh, spend one day on data science these are going to give the benefit there if they are writing lambda expressions you should know in advance what is meant by lambda expressions there they won't explain okay, okay. sir is it offline is already uh, it is it is it is online sir it is online already the batch was started in the last week okay Yes, contact number is yours, sir. No, 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 no. It is our admin team. Okay. Thanks. Right. Yeah. So, hope all your doubts are cleared. So, I will continue the classes, sir. Okay. Now, sir, uh, first, first, uh, just to give some kind of uh, uh, benefit for you people. I will write some Python programs. I will write some Python programs 
so that you people are going to feel how much easy my python programming language is direct to programs i will take so don't look into that uh, in detail just uh, try to understand at a top level because i have not yet started python fundamentals on the first day first first topic if i execute a python program you people are going to get confused but my confident so my confident on this is nothing but just i am explaining how much easy python is beyond that nothing so uh, i am going to write the python program in a separate file called test.py test.py so always a python file extension will be .py .py and uh, so import i am taking math i am importing math module because so in the math module so many mathematical related functionalities will be there then print of math dot i am taking factorial of if you take a five sir it is going to return five factorial sir where you have written the code python is best choice for redefined things sir okay everything is available in the form of module i want to generate a three digit otp we are not required to write a big code just only one or two lines of code is sufficient to generate otps okay so like that we have just a second sir please wait for two minutes yeah sorry for the delay sir now sir you can able to see here um to calculate a factorial how much a simple code i have written just there is a predefined function is there with the name factorial so factorial of 5 if you take it is going to calculate 5 factorial 
it is going to calculate five factorial okay sir you know very well what is a five factorial right 120 just it is going to return that how to execute python program means uh, py space test dot py you have to take to execute a python program sir if you take py space test dot py you can able to see we are getting 120 sir can i calculate factorial for three yes three factorial is a six sir can i fact find factorial for one yes it is one sir factorial for zero it is nothing but one like that we are getting okay sir it is a very simple right so we are not required to write a big lines of code in python but in other languages we have to write a like that we need to take and one more advantage i want to address because here the situation came is it possible to calculate a factorial of 10 yes in all the languages we can calculate but is it possible to calculate a factorial for 100 it is highly impossible to find a factorial for 100 okay in other programming languages but in python yes you can find out because sir there is no range concept so there is no range concept in python everything will be treated as a python object so this object memory allocation will be there so content can be anything there is no particular limitation on the range okay so i hope you people got uh, this first python program in very clear manner sir can you please confirm is the concept is clear clear friends yes sir clear right now so next term um, sir why these many students are there kindly respond sir is not correct so next one sir i want to write a program to generate some three digit otp three digit otp for that also there is one special method a method or module is there with name random just you have to take random dot rand int of you can provide the limit like x and then y so it will generate the random number in between this x and y but remember in python first argument is mandatory second argument is a sir it sorry first argument is included last argument is excluded it will generate any random number from x to y minus one sir i want a three digit from where the three digit numbers will start 100 where the three digit numbers are going to end you can provide thousand thousand means thousand minus one will become triple nine so triple nine is included now you can able to check first time i am executing i got a three digit tp like five eight nine same program i didn't do any modification second time i am trying to execute you can see we are getting five third time third time seven not okay fourth time 134 every time is it generating a random values or not yes so this is nothing but what we have a simple how many lines of code we have written only so two lines of code we have written just to generate a random value so from 100 to 1000 that is nothing but in our point of view i can say three digit otp okay sir clear up to this second program is it clear for you people yes right the people who are feeling python is very difficult i think with this at least you got uh, some 10 percent uh, fear of this gone okay now i want to start our actual syllabus that is nothing but introduction introduction to python sir who introduced python i want to spend some time on this exploration very simple sir there is one person is there with name goodio van goodio van rosam so he is the he is the 
founder of python he developed python sir while preparing some mathematical related project he is doing some calculations on uh, mathematics when he is calculating he need some he need some calculation he need uh, some uh, uh, some integral or differentiation something like that he need some calculations for that he need a script he need a script sir he searched for so many programming languages those programming languages are giving the result but not accurate that's why python people i mean this uh, budio uh, has developed own scripting language so he developed a own scripting language own scripting language to to get the solution but he succeeded in that but later he got that how much power that script has that's why he converted okay he converted that scripting language into python programming language okay python programming language sir at very beginning when this python programming language came on 21st okay on 21st february on 21st february 1991 so the first official version of python came into the market and python has so many drawbacks are there so many new features has introduced sir everything happened so at a top level there are three versions are there in python one is a python 1.x python 2.x and python 3.x okay sir python 1.x is not that much popular sir at very initial days there are some problems are there these problems came into the picture when you start comparing with other languages only and in 2.x also they have faced some uh, some issues so completely they have changed the syntax of python 1 and python 2 with new syntax and with new concepts they came up with 3.x so 3.x i can say it is a stable python version it is a stable python version but again so many versions are there but it is a continuation to 3.x so they are never try to change to the syntaxes so this python 1.x is a syntaxes why is it difficult so this 2.x is also different syntaxes 3.x is also different syntax even though these three languages are same but syntactically there are some changes so that's why even you can't expect 4.x in future maybe we don't know but 3.x is very popular nowadays you know very well that's why so 3.x is the stable but 3.x versions got updated from 3.1 to the latest version is 3.11 so many versions are there anyway we will discuss the installation process everything in detail okay so python is so i can say very very easy programming language very very easy programming language when compared with the other programming languages that is very very important when compared with other programming languages python is nothing but very very easy simple sir simple sir okay sir how this python name came sir the majority of the people are going to feel python means a big snake no there is one popular comedy show is there so the complete the complete monty is python flying circus okay which was telecasted okay which is telecasted in bbc in the olden days it is a comedy show sir okay it is it is nothing but a comedy show so this gudio van rosam he is interested in this comedy show he extracted the word called python from this comedy show okay and kept as a language name sir beyond that nothing okay then sir what are the application areas application areas of python sir where we can use because this is very much important from this only you people are going to get full fledged knowledge sir it is used in mission learning applications it is used in mission learning applications even artificial okay artificial intelligence artificial intelligence also we are using this python 
and even in the data science domain also we are using python and even in the web applications also we are going to use python and in desktop applications also we are using python next and after that distributed applications also we are going to use python and even in the gaming domains also we are using python and even in data analysis in data analysis also we are using python like this we have different uh, areas are there where we can use python and some people are going to feel sir really python we are using in the real time so just one small question so which companies which companies okay which companies are using python just a small question is there let us search so at a top level at a top level so these are the five these are the five companies which we have google is using python youtube is using python nasa is using python dropbox is using python and even netflix ott medium is there right ott platform it is also using python like we have so many so many uh, what you can call uh, online platforms are there okay sir you can able to just have a look once really is this companies are using python or not just i will search this sir uh, you can able to see which companies are using python if you want you can see in the images okay sir have you observed okay have you observed here we have one second yes you can see top companies using python netflix is there jp morgan nasa youtube okay so google instagram ibm so amazon hike yahoo like we have so many companies are there still they are using python i hope you people got very clear clarity about this can you please confirm do you have any doubt in this introduction please confirm no sir no sir right so next thing softwares required softwares required to execute python application sir softwares which are used to execute python right so softwares required to execute python applications sir i want to develop a simple python program so how i can able to execute this python applications so what softwares are required the first thing is nothing but you need some editor sir any editor you can use either notepad or notepad plus plus okay so we have edit plus is there okay next and after that vs code is there next and after that um, sublime text like we have different editors are there anything you can able to download and you can use it. so currently i am typing some notes right this is uh, nothing but a sublime text sir okay so notepad plus plus edit plus like we have so many editors are there and even sir we can able to use command prompt or powershell so it is a default available in every python i mean every operating system so it is existed in every operating system command prompt will be there or we can able to use a powershell anything so here i have executed the programs right this is called as a command prompt anyway tomorrow session i will give that clarity how you can able to work with it next uh, you have to install python latest version python latest version also anyway i will explain installation process also after completion of this sir even we have some ides also there ides means what 
integrated development integrated development environment okay uh, sir like we have so many things are there here we have anaconda navigator is there we have spider is there so jupiter notebook is there like uh, pie chart like we have so many ids are there sir we can use any id based on your requirement at a very beginning days that means at a while learning stage i request everyone to please practice the programs by using these three only never recommended to go for ids but after finishing our python course you can use any id in problem at all you will get the fluency but in the initial days in these ides auto support will be there sir automatically it is going to detect the errors auto completions will be there so if you type one or two lines automatically one or two characters it will give suggest or sometimes it will replace uh, appropriate function also but that is not good which will make us very lazy okay then sir python official website so what is the python official website HTTP yes colon double slash so www dot python dot org is the official website what we have okay so this is nothing but Python official website if you want to download Python software everything possible from here only okay so downloads what is the latest version here you can 3.11 sir the complete information like documentation anything you can get it from this thing sir and we are not required to pay any amount for this it is a completely freeware freeware and open source and i told right what are the different python versions are existed so i told so python 1.x is there and python 2.x is there and python 3.x is there in python 3.x 3.1 is there so python 3.2 is there okay so in python 3.3 so python 3.4 so python 3.5 so python 3.6 python 3.7 3.8 so python so 3.9 so python 3.10 and what is the latest version python 3.11 this is nothing but what we have anyway now i am going to explain installation process installation of python how you can able to install in your mission sir up to this python versions from where we can download and which softwares are required are you clear with this please confirm is it clear yes right. yes sir Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right so i want to install this uh, python sir so if you want to install python software so uh, already in my system already python is there but i don't want to uninstall and again reinstall i already prepared one beautiful video for this okay just i will play that video so you can able to watch very clearly so how you can able to install that python sir okay just have a look once how it will be yes sir you can able to just give confirmation are you getting audio from this file or hi friend to check how Just many versions audio of is uh, python yes sir yes sir right i will play this file from the beginning it has a 10 minutes video is there kindly watch this so which will give a clear indication how you can able to install python and i will mute every participant in this time period and i will be on mute please have a look once. hi friends in today's video i want to explain python installation installation process suppose if you want to work with python yes definitely we required python software okay 
So you need to install that Python software in your operating system, whether it may be Linux or Unix or Mac OS or Windows. But as of now, I am using Windows operating system. We will try to install Python latest version into this particular mission so that follow these steps while installing in your system also. So before moving to that, I need to check how many versions of uh, Python was installed in my mission. Sir, there is one command is there in the command prompt you have to check py space hyphen zero. What is that command sir? py hyphen zero. Once if you press enter, it will display what are the list of installed Python versions in your mission. So as a trainer, I need to explain every concept for the students. That's why these are the installed versions, sir. Total how many versions are installed from 3.1 to 3.9. Now I want to install the latest version. What is the latest version? 3.10. Sir, how to download that latest version? Sir, you have to go for python.org website. Okay, http colon yes, double slash www.python.org. Okay, in this website, you can find the latest version of Python. As of now, the latest version of Python is nothing but 3.10. Let us check whether it is available or not. Yes download okay download python 3.10.5 just click on this automatically your download is going to be started okay almost it is having 27 mb file let us download it yes sir just to open this show in folder you can see so python 3.10 is there so installing this python software is just like a normal software installation you need to double click this particular exe file so that what will happen so it will ask a welcome page like this install python 3.10.4 sorry 5 64 bit sir don't press directly install now so in the bottom you can see install launcher for all users which is recommended and have you observed add python 3.10 to the path compulsory you have to check this button sir because if you see java or any other programming languages so compulsory you have to set the path that means whatever commands they have given you need to set that commands then only you can able to run your programs but here 3.10 path i want to set automatically while installing the software itself now I want to click on install now. Sir, what happens? It will ask for administrative permissions. Once if you click yes, automatically the installation is going to be done, sir. Okay. Of course, definitely it will take some time. So please wait for one or two minutes. The setup will complete. Other than that, no need to give any credentials, all these things. Just I will be on mute for a few minutes.
yes as you can see setup was successful just click on close sir now i need to check really whether it is installed or not again which command you have to type py-0 you can see previously 3.9 is the latest version now 3.10 is nothing but latest version sir we can install 3.9 right why you have installed 3.10 very simple sir now i want to write a program to differentiate uh, what is the difference between these two okay let me take one simple python program observe carefully sir i have taken small x is equal to something like 10 but while printing i am taking capital x okay i have taken small x only but by mistake i have taken capital x in my printing statement how this error is identified by python how this error is identified by python so py space test dot py as of now i want to execute this program in 3.9 version 3.9 version if i execute this program in 3.9 version what error message we got name error sir name x is not defined same program i want to run in 3.10 sir there is a more meaningful error message we are going to get name x is not defined did you mean small x like that it is giving some kind of hint sir one more example i want to take one dictionary like one colon one one of course these topics we will cover in future sir two like this that's all that's all now i want to execute this code in 3.9 sir what it is telling unexpected end of a file while parsing let me take in 3.10 have you observed here it is indicating array there is one syntax error closed open bracket you have used which was never closed you have not closed this particular bracket so such a type of more meaningful error messages are introduced in which version python 3.10 not only this one we have so many things are there of course if time permits everything we will discuss in our python course okay so in this video i hope you got clarity how you can able to install python software into your mission right yeah enjoy thank you sir yeah clear right so i hope you got very clear clarity about how we can able to install python software right clear friends yes yes sir. right so that's all about uh, today's session and the steps to execute okay steps to execute python application so how you can able to write the program where we have to store everything one by one point to point i will explain in the tomorrow's class sir. okay right so thank you good evening everyone good evening everyone so welcome to durga soft welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to core and advanced python welcome to core and advanced python so online batch okay it is a fast track batch sir okay it is a fast track batch so here myself k prakash babu having almost 15 years of experience 15 years of experience as a trainer i have 
15 years of experience as a trainer. So as of now, I'm taking so many batches, so many programs in our Durga software. And coming to course, what is the title of the course here? We have core and advanced Python. Core and advanced Python. Here, this course duration, this course duration is, sir, 30 classes. 30 classes. Within 30 classes, we are going to finish this and excluding demos. So this week, completely demo will be there. Our regular classes will be there from Monday. Our regular classes will be there from Monday. That is 16th onwards. Okay. So from the 16th, the regular classes will be there. The people who are very interested to continue, you can immediately join. Okay. So these four classes, Monday to Thursday, demo classes will be there. Okay. Sir, next, the fees for this batch. Before that, I need to compulsory mention timings. Already this batch got started at 3 o'clock, sir. Just for add-on purpose, I have taken the class at 4 o'clock. But actual timings are from so 3 p.m. to sir 4.30 p.m. Okay, actual timings of this class is from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday to Saturday. Monday to Saturday. So I can say Monday to Friday. Saturdays we will take, but occasionally. Suppose uh, around two or three Saturdays I will take. Okay, remaining two Saturdays I will uh, uh, relieve you. Okay, so Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday we have the regular classes from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Okay, 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. we have classes. And what is the fees for this batch? The fees for this batch is rupees 5,000. Okay, rupees 5,000 is nothing but fees what we have. The people who are interested to continue. Okay, the people who are interested to continue. So immediately you can start making the payments and you can get registered for this batch. Okay. And next and after that, sir, if I want to register for this, so to whom we need to contact? Okay, to whom we need to contact? So here 720-721-2427. You can contact to this number or you can send a message to Durga Soft Online Training. Okay, Durga Soft Online Training at gmail.com. Okay, next. How many demos we are going to take? Four demos will be there. Okay, four demos will be there. That is 9 1 2023. So 10 1 2023, 11 1 2023, and uh, so 12 1 2023. Okay, if possible, we will take uh, regular classes from 13th. Anyway, 14th and 15th are festival, right? We are going to get a holiday. Okay, next. Sir, uh, this is nothing but information and uh, so till now I have taken almost five fast track batches. This is nothing but a fast track batch sixth. Six. So Python fast track sixth batch. Okay. So this is nothing but what we have and I need to talk about the syllabus. I need to talk about the syllabus. So uh, we have around uh, some 20 chapters are there sir. Okay. We have around 20 chapters are there. All these chapters, 20 to 25 chapters are there. All these chapters in detail. Okay, in detail, we are going to discuss. All these chapters in detail, we are going to discuss. So just this is nothing but the overview. Introduction to Python. Okay, then Python fundamentals. Data types which are existed in Python. Input and output statements which are available in Python. Operators control flow statements up to this you can expect only fundamentals up to this you can expect only fundamentals so after this so we are going to talk about the data structure fundamentals explain how you can able to prepare the program for that what basics are required everything and five data structures are there so luckily in python our data types also will act as a data structures. Data structures means what? So inserting the data, retrieving the data, okay, performing some operations like searching and sorting. So what are the efficient tools we have? 
all these things will be available here also so inbuilt data structures are there around five data structures we have okay so string data structure list data structure tuple data structure set data structure dictionary data structure like this we have then so we are going to talk about uh, next level concepts functional programming in python so till now chapter number 1 to chapter number level we are going to talk about scripting scripting means what just we will write some sequence of execution the sequence of instructions and we will execute that that's all but in the functional programming we are going to create a function that function we are going to execute any number of times based on our requirement okay suppose i want to calculate factorial repeatedly in my project so if you want to uh, write a program every time it is a very difficult task create a module or create a package place that factorial function in that module or package whenever you required just create a link and access okay this kind of a facility is very very important right so that is called as a functional programming okay so you can use modules or packages something like that and we are going to see a small mini project okay we are going to see a small mini project on this also we are going to see a small mini project on this functional programming a small program i will explain then next main agenda object oriented programming like how you can able to provide security is the main agenda of object oriented programming like um, how you can able to create okay how you can able to create classes concept how you can able to create object so if you have already existing classes are there how you can able to extend the properties polymorphism means what overloading means what overriding means what all these things how we are going to work we are going to discuss in detail okay that is called as this hoops concept sir anyway around 50 sub topics are there in this object oriented programming in detail we will talk then exception handling suppose if you are executing any program during execution of the program if any runtime error occurred then how we are going to handle that situation that we are going to discuss in exception handling okay if any runtime error is occurred then how we are going to handle that so we are going to discuss in this next what is mean by multi threading so multitasking is very very important nowadays right parallelly we are going to execute okay so many tasks we are going to execute parallelly but how you can able to do that we are going to talk in detail in this multi threading okay that then regular expressions how you can able to write regular expressions regular expression means what suppose if you have um, a formality like we are going to read some data from the user and i need to search for the data in the database in such cases some some what you can call some problems are there for example if i am asking tell me your mobile number what you are going to tell for example if you give 123 as your mobile number is it a correct mobile number no but my application is going to accept that and it will store it in the database it is not correct whether the data is the data which is given by the user is following that particular proper format or not even you have seen when you are setting the password nowadays minimum three characters should be there so one upper case character one lower case character one digit like that we have certain rules and regulations are there like we are not touching the data but we are checking whether the data is in a proper format or not for that we have to go with what sir regular expression we have so many applications are there around 10 applications we are going to discuss in detail in this regular expressions next web scraping means what okay so web scraping means what how you can able to extract the data from websites of course it is not that much important but uh, we will see some one or two websites from that how you can able to extract email ids how you can able to extract mobile number with live we will see okay so on this regular expressions exception hand sorry on this regular expressions and web scraping 
we will see one project also mini project then this is optional but anyway which is very very important at the end sir whatever you have written sir i have written a beautiful program for student attendance management system sir i have accepted student hall ticket number so attendance report for the seven periods in day so every data i accept you have to store that data in the database or not yes because tomorrow attendance today attendance next day attendance we have to calculate to get the final percentage monthly or yearly okay so for that data must be stored somewhere right whether it may be in your pc or server or any cloud that is secondary but whatever data you are accepting whatever processing that you are doing you should store that data okay for that we have two phases are there one is you can store the information on file second one is you can store the information on database okay so we are going to see how we are going to deal with the files and uh, database connectivity also we are going to discuss with this a just a small project we are going to see so this is nothing but 25 chapters in detail we are going to discuss in our python course of course it is 20 chapters only only projects are there after completion of every chapter okay so do you have any doubts in this uh, uh, course information please confirm yes hello sir i have one yes. concern mm, please so in 30 days we are able to understand full python as you said yes that. yes yes you can able to understand because uh, if we are i'm not uh, from programming background so it is uh, able yeah. To understand no no yeah no problem you can able to understand because python is very easy sir when compared with other languages i think you have heard that okay, okay. Uh, python is not that much difficult programming language so you can learn python in a very easy manner instructions everything will be very clear and easy so not that much difficulty will be there so after this we are able to apply for a real time uh, in a real company after that yeah yeah you can apply sir but whatever fundamentals are required everything we are going to provide from here okay thank you right sir any other queries friends please feel free to ask your queries Hello. Hello. Mm, yes. Hi, sir. Yeah, hi, Govind. Sir, uh, any real, real time project provide? No, no, no. We are not going to deal with any real time projects. See, real time projects, it is not that much correct word, sir. Okay. Real time project means uh, we have to work on the company with a big project team size and so many things will be there. So, at learning stage, that is not correct. Okay, okay. The external APIs, uh, Django basics. No, no, no. We are not going to cover all these things. Later, after completion of the Python, you have to opt a separate course for that. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Right. Mm. Any other? Any other doubts? Yeah, hi, sir. Hi. Sir, this Python will be helpful for data science. Sir, data science main agenda is Python only. Okay. Okay. So without Python basics, even you can't uh, spend one day on data science. These are going to give the benefit there. If they are writing Lambda expressions, you should know in advance what is meant by Lambda expressions. There they won't explain. Okay. okay. Sir, is it offline? Is already uh, it is, it is, it is online, sir. It is online. Already the batch was started in the last week. Okay. Sir, yes, contact number is yours, sir. No, 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 no. It is our admin team. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah, so hope all your doubts are cleared. So I will continue the classes, sir. Okay.
now sir uh, first first uh, just to give some kind of uh, uh, benefit for you people i will write some python programs i will write some python programs so that you people are going to feel how much easy my python programming language is direct programs i will take so don't look into that uh, in detail just uh, try to understand at the top level because i have not yet started python fundamentals on the first day first first topic if i execute a python program you people are going to get confused but my confident so my confident on this is nothing but just i am explaining how much easy python is beyond that nothing so uh, i am going to write the python program in a separate file called test.py test.py so always a python file extension will be .py .py and uh, so import i am taking math i am importing math module because so in the math module so many mathematical related functionalities will be there then print of math dot i am taking factorial of if you take a five sir it is going to return five factorial sir where you have written the code python is best choice for redefined things sir okay everything is available in the form of module i want to generate a three digit otp we are not required to write a big code just to only one or two lines of code is sufficient to generate otps okay so like that we have just a second sir please wait for two minutes yeah sorry for the delay sir now sir you can able to see here um to calculate factorial 
how much a simple code i have written just there is a predefined function is there with the name factorial so factorial of 5 if you take it is going to calculate 5 factorial it is going to calculate 5 factorial okay sir you know very well what is a 5 factorial right 120 just it is going to return that how to execute a python program means uh, py space test dot py you have to take to execute a python program sir if you take py space test dot py you can able to see we are getting 120 sir can i calculate factorial for 3 yes 3 factorial is a 6 sir can i fact find factorial for 1 yes it is 1 sir factorial for 0 it is nothing but 1 like that we are getting okay sir it is a very simple right so we are not required to write a big lines of code in python but in other languages we have to write a like that we need to take and one more advantage i want to address because here the situation came is it possible to calculate a factorial of 10 yes in all the languages we can calculate but is it possible to calculate a factorial for 100 it is highly impossible to find a factorial for 100 okay in other programming languages but in python yes you can find out because sir there is no range concept so there is no range concept in python everything will be treated as a python object so this object memory allocation will be there so content can be anything there is no particular limitation on the range okay so i hope you people got uh, this first python program in very clear manner sir can you please confirm is the concept is clear clear friends Yes, sir, clear. Right. Now, so next, um, sir, why these many students are there? Kindly respond, sir. Is not correct. So, next one, sir, I want to write a program to generate some three digit OTP. Three digit OTP. For that also, there is one special method, a method or module is there with the name random. Just you have to take random dot rand int of, you can provide the limit like x and then y. So it will generate the random number in between this x and y. But remember in Python, first argument is mandatory. Second argument is a sir it sorry first argument is included last argument is excluded it will generate any random number from x to y minus one sir i want a three digit from where the three digit numbers will start 100 where the three digit numbers are going to end you can provide thousand thousand means thousand minus one will become triple nine so triple nine is included now you can able to check first time i am executing I got a three digit OTP like 589. Same program, I didn't do any modification. Second time I'm trying to execute, you can see we are getting 539. Third time 704. Okay, fourth time 134. Every time, is it generating a random values or not? Yes. So this is nothing but what we have. A simple, how many lines of code we have written? Only, so two lines of code we have written just to generate a random value so from 100 to 1000 that is nothing but in our point of view i can say three digit otp okay sir clear up to this second program is it clear for you people yes right the people who are feeling python is very difficult i think with this at least you got uh, some 10 percent uh, fear or is gone okay now i want to start our actual syllabus that is nothing but introduction introduction to python sir who introduced python 
I want to spend some time on this exploration. Very simple, sir. There is one person is there with name Gudio Van. Gudio Van Rosa. So he is the he is the founder of Python. He developed Python. Sir, while preparing some mathematical related project, he is doing some calculations on uh, mathematics. When he is calculating, he need some he need some calculation. He need uh, some uh, uh, some integral or differentiation, something like that. He need some calculations. For that, he need a script. He need a script, sir. He searched for so many programming languages. Those programming languages are giving the result, but not accurate. That's why Python people, I mean, this Gudio uh, uh, has developed a own scripting language. So he developed a own scripting language, own scripting language to to get the solution. But he succeeded in that. But later he got that how much power that a script has. That's why he, he converted. Okay, he converted that scripting language into Python programming language. Okay, Python programming language. Sir, at the very beginning, when this Python programming language came on twenty first. Okay, on twenty first February. On twenty first February, nineteen ninety one. So the first official version of Python came into the market, and Python has so many drawbacks are there. So many new features has introduced, sir. Everything happened. So at a top level, there are three versions are there in Python. One is a Python 1.x, Python 2.x, and Python 3.x. Okay, sir. Python. 1.x is not that much popular, sir. At very initial days, there are some problems are there. These problems came into the picture when you start comparing with other languages only. And in 2.x also, they have faced some uh, some issues. So completely, they have changed the syntaxes of Python 1 and Python 2 with new syntaxes and with new concepts. They came up with 3.x. So three point x, I can say it is a stable Python version. It is a stable Python version. But again, so many versions are there. But it is a continuation to three point x. So they are never tried to change to the syntaxes. So this Python one point x is a syntaxes. Why is it difficult? So this two point x is also different syntaxes. Three point x is also different syntax. Even though These three languages are same, but syntactically there are some changes. So that's why even you can't expect four point x in future. Maybe we don't know, but three point x is very popular nowadays. You know very well. That's why so three point x is the stable, but three point x versions got updated from three point one to the latest version is three point eleven. So many versions are there. Anyway, we will discuss. the installation process everything in detail okay so python is so i can say very very easy programming language very very easy programming language when compared with the other programming languages that is very very important when compared with other programming languages python is nothing but a very very easy simple sir simple sir okay sir how this python name came sir the majority of the people are going to feel python means a big snake no there is one popular comedy show is there so the complete the complete monty is python flying circus okay which was telecasted okay which is telecasted in bbc in the olden days it is a comedy show sir okay it is it is nothing but a comedy show so this gudio van rosam he is interested in this comedy show he extracted the word called python from this comedy show okay and kept as a language name sir beyond that nothing okay then sir what are the application areas application areas of python sir where we can use because this is very much important from this only you people are going to get full fledged knowledge sir it is used in 
mission learning applications it is used in mission learning applications even artificial okay artificial intelligence artificial intelligence also we are using this python and even in the data science domain also we are using python and even in the web applications also we are going to use python and in desktop applications also we are using python next and after that distributed applications also we are going to use python and even in the gaming domains also we are using python and even in data analysis in data analysis also we are using python like this we have different uh, areas are there where we can use python and some people are going to feel sir really python we are using in the real time so just one small question so which companies which companies okay which companies are using python just a small question is there let us search so at the top level at the top level so these are the five these are the five companies which we have google is using python youtube is using python nasa is using python dropbox is using python and even netflix ott medium is there right ott platform it is also using python like we have so many so many uh, what you can call uh, online platforms are there okay sir you can able to just have a look once really is these companies are using python or not just i will search this sir uh, you can able to see which companies are using python if you want you can see in the images okay sir have you observed okay have you observed here we have second yes you can see top companies using python netflix is there jp morgan nasa youtube okay so google instagram ibm so amazon hike yahoo like we have so many companies are there still they are using python i hope you people got very clear clarity about this can you please confirm do you have any doubt in this introduction please confirm no sir no sir right so next thing softwares required softwares required to execute python application sir softwares which are used to execute python right so softwares required to execute python applications sir i want to develop a simple python program so how i can able to execute this python applications so what softwares are required the first thing is nothing but you need some editor sir any editor you can use either notepad or notepad plus plus okay so we have edit plus is there okay next and after that vs code is there next and after that um, sublime text like we have different editors are there anything you can able to download and you can use it so currently i am typing some notes right this is uh, nothing but a sublime text sir okay so notepad plus plus edit plus like we have so many editors are there and even sir we can able to use command prompt or powershell so it is a default available in every python i mean every operating system so it is existed in every operating system command prompt will be there or we can able to use a powershell anything so here i have executed the programs right this is called as a command prompt anyway tomorrow session i will give that clarity how you can able to work with it next uh, you have to install 
Python latest version. Python latest version also. Anyway, I will explain installation process also after completion of this. Sir, even we have some IDs also there. IDs means what? Integrated development, integrated development environment. Okay. Uh, sir, like we have so many things are there here. We have Anaconda Navigator is there. We have Spider is there. So Jupyter Notebook is there. Like uh, PyCharm. Like we have so many IDs are there, sir. We can use any IDE based on your requirement. At the very beginning days, that means at a while learning stage, I request everyone to please practice the programs by using these three only. Never recommended to go for IDEs. But after finishing our Python course, you can use any IDE problem at all. You will get the fluency. But in the initial days, in these IDEs, auto support will be there. Sir, automatically it is going to detect the errors. Auto completions will be there. So if you type one or two lines automatically, one or two characters, it will give suggest or sometimes it will replace uh, appropriate function also. But that is not good, which will make us very lazy. Okay. Then, sir, Python official website. So, what is the Python official website we have? HTTP, yes, colon, double slash. So, www.python.org is the official website what we have. Okay. So, this is nothing but Python official website. If you want to download Python software, everything possible from here only. Okay. So, downloads. What is the latest version? Here you can 3.11. Sir, the complete information like documentation, anything, you can get it from this thing, sir. And we are not required to pay any amount for this. It is a completely freeware, freeware and open source. And I told, right, what are the different Python versions are existed? So I told, so Python 1.x is there and Python 2.x is there and Python 3.x is there. In Python 3.x, 3.1 is there. So Python 3.2 is there. Okay. So in Python 3.3, so Python 3.4, so Python 3.5, so Python 3.6, Python 3.7, 3.8, so Python, so 3.9, so Python 3.10. And what is the latest version? Python 3.11. This is nothing but what we have. Anyway, now I am going to explain installation process installation of python how you can able to install in your mission sir up to this python versions from where we can download and which softwares are required are you clear with this please confirm is it clear yes right. yes sir Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right so, I want to install this uh, Python, sir. So, if you want to install Python software, so uh, already in my system, already Python is there, but I don't want to uninstall and again reinstall. I already prepared one beautiful video for this. Okay. Just I will play that video so you can able to watch very clearly. So, how you can able to install that Python, sir. Okay. Just have a look once how it will be. Yes, sir, you can able to just give confirmation. Are you getting audio from this file? Or Hi, friend. To check how it's many versions audio of is uh, Python. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. I will play this file from the beginning. It has a 10 minutes video is there. Kindly watch this. So which will give a clear indication how you can able to install Python. And I will mute every participant in this time period. And I will be on mute. Please have a look. Hi, friends. In today's video, I want to explain Python installation, installation process. Suppose 
if you want to work with python yes definitely we required a python software okay so you need to install that python software in your operating system whether it may be linux or unix or mac os or windows but as of now i am using windows operating system we will try to install python latest version into this particular mission so that follow these steps while installing in your system also so before moving to that i need to check how many versions of python was installed in my mission sir there is one command is there in the command prompt you have to check py space hyphen zero what is that command sir py hyphen zero once if you press enter it will display what are the list of installed python versions in your mission so as a trainer i need to explain every concept for the students that's why these are the installed versions sir total how many versions are installed from 3.1 to 3.9 now i want to install the latest version what is the latest version 3.10 sir how to download that latest version sir you have to go for python.org website okay http colon yes double slash www.python.org okay in this website you can find the latest version of python as of now the latest version of python is nothing but 3.10 let us check whether it is available or not yes download okay download python 3.10.5 just click on this automatically your download is going to be started okay almost it is having 27 mb file let us download it yes sir just to open this show in folder you can see so python 3.10 is there so installing this python software is just like a normal software installation you need to double click this particular exe file so that what will happen so it will ask a welcome page like this install python 3.10.4 sorry 5 64 bit sir don't press directly install now so in the bottom you can see install launcher for all users which is recommended and have you observed add python 3.10 to the path compulsory you have to check this button sir because if you see java or any other programming languages so compulsory you have to set the path that means whatever commands they have given you need to set that commands then only you can able to run your programs but here 3.10 path i want to set automatically while installing the software itself now i want to click on install now sir what happens it will ask for administrative permissions once if you click yes automatically the installation is going to be done sir okay of course definitely it will take some time so please wait for one or two minutes the setup will complete other than that no need to give any credentials all these things just i will be on mute for few minutes
yes as you can see setup was successful just click on close sir now i need to check really whether it is installed or not again which command you have to type py hyphen zero you can see previously 3.9 is the latest version now 3.10 is nothing but latest version sir we can install 3.9 right why you have installed 3.10 very simple Sir, now I want to write a program to differentiate. Uh, what is the difference between these two? Okay, let me take one simple Python program. Observe carefully. Sir, I have taken small x is equal to something like ten, but while printing, I am taking capital X. Okay, I have taken small x only, but by mistake, I have taken capital X in my printing statement. how this error is identified by python how this error is identified by python so py space test dot py as of now i want to execute this program in 3.9 version 3.9 version if i execute this program in 3.9 version what error message we got name error sir name x is not defined same program i want to run in 3.10 sir there is a more meaningful error message we are going to get name x is not defined did you mean small x like that it is giving some kind of hint sir one more example i want to take one dictionary like one colon one one of course these topics we will cover in future sir two like this that's all that's all now i want to execute this code in 3.9 sir what it is telling unexpected end of file while parsing let me take in 3.10 have you observed here it is indicating are there is one syntax error closed open bracket you have used which was never closed you have not closed this particular bracket so such a type of more meaningful error messages are introduced in which version python 3.10 not only this one we have so many things are there of course if time permits everything we will discuss in our python course okay so in this video i hope you got clarity how you can able to install python software into your mission right yeah enjoy thank you sir yeah clear right so i hope you got very clear clarity about how we can able to install python software right clear friends yes yes, yes. right so that's all about uh, today's session and the steps to execute okay steps to execute python application so how you can able to write the program where we have to store everything one by one point to point i will explain in the tomorrow's class sir okay right so thank you yeah good evening so in the last video just we have started a new uh, core and a python advanced batch okay advanced python fast track batch so total duration of this course is one month the timings of this batch is from 3 to 4:30 okay monday to saturday 3 to 4:30 the classes will be there but actually these demo classes will be there from 4 to 5 o'clock okay so the fees for this is 5000 and if you are willing to continue just you can contact to these numbers okay for registration purpose so in the last video i explained very clearly so what topics we are going to cover and how easy our python is with some small demonstration programs like uh, how to generate uh, 
OTPs, okay, and uh, how to calculate a factorial of the given number. These things we have seen very clearly. And even introduction to the Python. What is mean by Python? Who invented Python? Why this Python concept came? So what advantages are there? Everything we have seen. And even the main application areas of Python also we have seen. Almost in every area we are using Python. So few of the examples are I listed. And even we have seen the top MNC companies, okay, which are using Python. Next and after that, what softwares are required to execute a Python application also we have seen. And what is the official website of, for Python? And what are the latest versions of Python also we have seen. And even we discussed about the installation process also. Now in today's session, we need to talk about the steps to create your first Python application. If I want to prepare any Python application, what steps we have to follow? The first step is nothing but, so you have to open any editor. You can use any editor and we have to type the program. Okay, you can use any editor. Already I explained, right? Like we have a uh, notepad is there, edit plus is there. Like we have so much of editors are there. You can use any editor, okay, to type the program. After typing the program, we have to save the program in any location. You can save the program in any location with extension, okay, with extension. So in any location with any file name, with any file name, but extension, extension must be dot .py. Dot .py is the extension for Python file. For example, consider we are going to save this file as a test.py or a demo.py, anything. Okay. Third step is nothing but we have to open command prompt and move to the location. We have to open the command prompt and move to the location. So where we have saved our file. Okay. So we have to move to the location where we have saved our file. Fourth step is nothing but we have to run the Python file. Okay, we have to run the Python file. We have to run the Python program or file. So by typing, by typing, so py space, whatever file name that you have given, dot py. If you type this program immediately, that command prompt is going to display the output of your program if your program is correct. If your program is having any mistakes, it will display that error messages also on the screen. Let us take one simple example. I'm taking a notepad to type the program. So here I'm going to take a print of something welcome to Python world like this I'm taking. Okay, so print is nothing but an output statement which is existed in Python. Whatever you are giving within double quotations, that the entire information will be printed on the screen. Like C language or Java, we don't have any semicolon at the end. We are not required to place any semicolon. Directly it is going to execute. Go to file and save the program. So what we have to provide, you need to select the proper location. In this PC, I'm going to select a C drive because I want to store the programs in C drive. In C drive, I have already created a folder with name 3pm. In this, I want to take the file. What is the file name that I'm going to take here is demo.py. Okay, so here we have to take all files. So already demo.py is existed. Do you want to replace? Yes. Now, this is nothing but a simple Python program what we have. So I want to execute this Python program. What is the file name that we have given? Demo.py, any name you can give. So how you can able to execute this program? we have to open command prompt. This is my command prompt what I have. So it is in C drive. We have saved our file in C drive only, but not in this folder. You have to change the folder. To change this folder, first you have to come out from all the folders. If you provide a CD backslash, it will come out from all the folders. So now you can able to see we are in C drive. So just you have to give CD space 3 p.m. So we have entered into this particular folder, sir. Okay. 
so here we have to type the command already i have given the instruction right py space file name dot py is the command which we have to use to execute that program just i am typing py space what is the file name demo dot py just if you press enter you can able to see we got output this is the way how you can able to execute a simple python program okay suppose consider we have some error in the program suppose consider here just i didn't close with a semicolon i mean double quotations so i have taken a string here where it is beginning from double quotation but i forgot to close that double quotation immediately what will happen when you are running the program it is going to show error message like this so in this file in line number 1 we have certain mistake is there what is that syntax error unterminated string literal you have not terminated the string literal properly like that so we are going to get error message also sometimes by observing this error messages we can so correct the syntax is whatever we are getting okay so i hope you people got very clear clarity about how to execute first python application by using this command prompt and then edit press sorry editor okay sir clear up to this everyone please confirm clear up to this yes sir yes i request everyone to please respond clear up to this yes sir yes sir right next sir i want to take one more application for you people to understand what is that application is addition of two numbers addition of a two numbers program i want to implement so how we can write a program now onwards i am not using any command prompt in the is i am going to open that file test.py it is there in 3 pm folder only the file name is test.py here you can type the programs and you can execute this is also one of the editor i already told it is nothing but a sublime text editor so how to read the two numbers as of now i don't want to read any number i am providing the inputs here itself statically a is equal to 101 b is equal to 202 now i want to calculate addition we know the basic formula c is equal to a plus b and just you can able to print the value of c. what output we are going to get first value is 101 second value is 202 addition is nothing but 303 that 303 got stored in c and we are printing that 303 on the screen if you run the program py space test.py you can able to see we got that 303 as output but in python we have one more enhancement is there like you can print in this style also a is equal to within flower bracket a and b is equal to within flower bracket b and c is equal to within flower bracket c during execution of the program the value of a will be substituted in this place during execution of the program the value of b will be substituted here and during execution this c value is going to be substituted so if you want to get this kind of a flavor in the beginning just you have to use the word called f f indicates format specifier if you provide like this this is nothing but a formatted string with a constant values and along with variables so let us run this program py space test.py now you can see a value is 101 b value is 202 and c value is nothing but 303 like this we have this is nothing but a simple python program okay which is used to calculate addition of two numbers so hope you people got very clear clarity about this please confirm any doubts up to this clear
is requesting everyone to please respond is it clear up to this Yes, sir. So let's go with the next topic. What we have here in the fundamentals, the next topic is the keywords. So here, what is mean by keyword? How you can able to represent the keywords? We are going to discuss now. So keyword is nothing but it is an important word in Python. It is nothing but an important word in Python. or we can able to use it is nothing but a predefined word a predefined word in python so here the meaning meaning and functionality the meaning and functionality of these words are already defined already defined in python libraries so for example if i am taking if and if you are checking a is greater than so by taking this a is greater than b what this if is going to do already they have defined in python so these are called as a libraries the libraries we have provided the meaning for each and every word such a type of words are called as a keywords and there are some alternative names also there for keywords we can call it as either keywords or predefined words or you can use the name called reserved words any name you can use okay next so like other programming languages we are not required to remember all the keywords which are existed by default there is a separate module is there for that that module is nothing but a keyword so in your program just we have to import that module now there is one statement is there by using that statement you can get all the uh, list of keywords which are existed in the current version for that python people has given a function that function name is nothing but kw list so what it is going to do it will list out so all the keywords all the keywords present in python so let me take one simple example program for this so here i am taking keyword dot kw list if you take then it is going to list out all the keywords let us have a look once py space test dot py i am taking you can able to see these are nothing but a list of keywords which are existed in python uh, i think some keywords already we have seen right if you observe here we have already seen which keyword import keyword so import keyword already we discussed okay so i think so that's all remaining keywords anyway we are going to discuss in our upcoming classes okay so these are nothing but what are the list of keywords which are existed in python version to version maybe a chance of getting one or two new keywords and there is one small note is there in this so all these keywords okay all these keywords are written in lower case letters are written